Hello, my name is Antonio Papano and I'm the music director of the Royal Opera House. A lot of you will recognize that theme as the opening orchestral utterance to the prelude of Wagner's Parsifal, his festival for the consecration of the stage. It's not an opera. Um, it is extraordinary. It is an opera that speaks of spiritual aspiration, of redemption through faith and suffering. Very important are the images of Christ on the cross, very important the image of the Last Supper, very important the spear, the spear that pierced Jesus while he was on the cross. And of course uh, we are in a society of the Knights of the Holy Grail, the Holy Grail being the cup, the chalice from which Jesus drank at the Last Supper. This theme played by the strings, the clarinet and the bassoon and the English horn, you hear the rising figure, the aspiration, but then with in this you hear guilt as it moves to the minor. This rising theme denotes the spear of which I just spoke. So self-renunciation, compassion, um, this is the atmosphere um, of this piece. But it's incredibly um, personal music. Now you'll hear this theme, the opening theme. You'll hear it harmonized now, intoned by a, a lonely trumpet. pulsation of the one of the features of this music is the number of silences in this prelude to act one this is the first now we will hear that same opening theme this time starting in the minor so the element of suffering uh, and guilt is this time with a sforzando, with a quick accent. But listen, he, instead of getting softer and softer, it comes back. So the music is the same, transposed to the minor, but subtly changed each time. And we have the same formula as before, the trumpet again.
have the same pattern with the pulsation and then another silence again creating a sense of a place where time and space are two com communities for thought, thought for reflection we are introduced to the music of the Holy Grail This music um, is called the Dresden Amen and Wagner would have known it and his audience members at the time would have known that immediately because um, in the Protestant churches uh, this was a theme that was sung and intoned all the time and it had incredibly strong religious connotations um, and he uses it very very cleverly throughout the opera again following it with silence but again you hear this rising figure this spiritual aspiration the desire for redemption being that we are all sinners another silence and here we have the music that denotes faith and it is something very very strong intoned by the brass Transposed up. Silence. Now, this time, there'll be a longer phrase. syncopations faith is not so easy a long hold but immediately in the strings this Dresden Amen comes back it gains in luminosity now another silence and we hear the the theme of faith intoned this time by the woodwinds seemingly endless phrases as the music gets more and more present you feel that it's getting nearer and nearer almost cinematographic you hear this German counterpoint this almost inspired by Bach of course into each next section you can hear with these minor chords the cry of pity that the vision of Christ upon the cross must have inspired now that original theme with which I started comes back this time just the winds
music now starts to suffer more and more. Again, bringing us to ever new tonalities. One extraordinary transposition after another. Hear that extraordinary change to quiet. those rising phrases after all that suffering you just heard prayer be heard music that goes into the ether this is something so extraordinary it's unique actually this has been my house to house for this holy week and um, please join me next time thank you <laughs>